Hey everyone, so it's been a couple months since I put up an update video, but I finally have one because I got back into crafting, so I don't want this to be super extra long, so I'm going to jump right into it. So first I have some glitter mixes that I made, and first there is this one, which I think turned out super awesome. I started off making this, there we go. To, uh, put on my nails and I made a whole bunch and I decided to use it with my um resin too so yeah it's mostly black and silver and um there's some white and iridescent in there and it's a lot of holographic glitter too then I have this one I call this one purple rain I don't know because it's all purple And there's a lot of different types of glitter in there. And there's holographic glitter to make it super extra sparkly. So, yeah. And I have a couple of bags to, of this. So I can use it for different stuff or if I decide to sell any. So I don't have anything made with this. But I do have some made with this one. Then next, there is this one. This one I tried to do like a galaxy type thing, but it's really, really purple. But there's some blue in there, a little bit of pink, um, some silver. Yeah, and all the, um, like a bunch of different shapes and stuff, but it's mostly fine glitter. Because that's what I have most of. It's not focusing very well. But it's really, really, really pretty. I have some in a jar. Let's see if this makes a difference. Yeah. See, yeah, there we go. See the different shapes and stuff. So, yeah, that is that. That one, and then this is going to be for my nails. And then I have, lastly, the pink one. I call this one Pink Passion. It is really pretty. It's full of different types of glitter, all different pink shades, and some holographic and stuff, and... I also have this one for my nails in a jar. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. So, yes, that is that. And next I have some clay stuff. So, first I have... This, I used um, the chocolate bar mold and I made some with clay and mint color. And then I have some in chocolate that I turned into keychains with some lollipops and a little bell on it. So I think these are cute. I need to reglaze the chocolates because obviously I didn't do a very good job of it. And here's the lollipop. I didn't glaze or did I? I did glaze the lollipop, but you can't really tell through the camera. And here's another one, another bitten one, but on the opposite side. And here is a whole one. And two marshmallow sticks that I made with the same clay from the lollipop. So next, we'll move into my resin. So first, I made some more of the chocolate bars because I was testing out some colors uh, using the Tester's Enamel Paint with the 10-minute um, resin. And I made a mint color. On camera, it looks darker than it is in person, but I think it could still be a little bit lighter for the mint. And I also made a purple one, 
which I think I like it, but I think I'll probably put a little more purple next time. And from that same purple batch, I made a bunch of these bones because I kind of made a little too much and I wanted to make some bones anyway. And I also made a seahorse from the same green batch. But I didn't mix it in enough because there are little specks. Which makes me a little bit sad, but that's okay. Then next I have this piece. I kind of didn't know what to do with the background. I wanted to put some type of sprinkles, but I didn't. So I just put glitter on the back and gave it a white background. And obviously I didn't put enough glitter because you can see some little bald spots. But that's okay. Then here is some pieces that I made with that first glitter mix I showed. Here's Jack. A side view of Jack. And see how pretty it is in resin. And I did glaze this with um, resin. So there's that one. And then here's a Ouija board. Which my paint job isn't the best. And this too is glazed with the rest. The only thing is, it's really, really thin on the bottom. So it didn't, it's still bendy. And I know that can be fixed by just pouring. And I want to dome the back anyway. Ooh, look at that. You see? Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. That's that holographic glitter. And then lastly with that is this card. It's, I love it. I'm in love with this glitter. And I think this turned out pretty cool too. And then we have this little Game Boy. And I love this glitter mix. It's so pretty. Here's the bad view. I still need to sand this. And I love this sticker. But sadly, the resin soaked through. Which makes me sad. And I didn't do an awesome paint job. Because there was a different color underneath. And I didn't cover it up well enough but I do love my color choices for that then next we have this which I made I didn't know what I was going to do with it at first so and I only started with the flaky layer and I finally covered it in black and then I decided Maleficent put her on top Yeah, I made a couple of these. And her horn is missing. I didn't feel the mold enough, but that's okay. And I think I did a good paint job on her this time, too. And next, we have this, which needs to be glazed. Love that sticker. I want some more, and I love... I don't know, I love colors like this. They're so pretty. Yeah, so I need to hurry up and glaze that so the paint doesn't come off. Then I have a favorite of mine, this light switch cover. It took me a while to decide what colors to paint it. I want to do another one with a nighttime sky. I don't know how that'll look, but we'll see. And I still have to glaze it because I painted the eye on the outside. Whoops. So I have to cover that so the paint doesn't come off. And I think I did a good paint job. I really love this mold. It's so awesome. And then, the, then I just filled it with um white resin. So, yes, there's that one. And here is... Another favorite of mine, I just finished painting this the other day, and I need to glaze it so the paint doesn't come off, and I love the hair, it's the rainbow effect with the white horn. It was a different color, but I painted over it, so I didn't have to make another one and it wouldn't go to waste. And lastly are my bows. So first we have this one. It's a sugar skull. Which is pretty cool. 
Yeah. And it's on an alligator clip. Oh, and here's the back. There's more of the skulls on the back. And these, it's a fabric bow. And next we have this one, which I love the unicorn's hair. It turned out super pretty. This came as a last thought because I got stuck on what to do. So it was all dark purple and I decided, oh, let me change it up. So I did and I think it looks nice on this bow and it's the bow is actually kind of crooked. I don't know if you can tell, but it is this side. I didn't center it enough, so. but that's okay. I still like it. And then I have this one. This one is kind of the reason, the whole reason I made some bows was because I had this idea. Make a red bow with some green drizzle and put the um queen. And this represents the poison apple that she gave Snow White. And it won't focus. There we go. So yeah, I want to remake the bow because I think it's too small. And yeah, I don't know. But I love this idea and it's very nice still. And then I have Maleficent. She's on a purple bow. Which I like this too. Next time I make this one, I want to do still purple, but put some green lines on it. I don't know, but we'll see. And lastly, I have Ursula, which I love, 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 love it. And I even sewed these lines on here. And it's a light purple, similar to her color. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. And I did. I sold this one. So, yeah. That is everything that I have done in the past uh, month or so. And so I do hope to make some more because I miss crafting and... I'm starting to ramble and this video is getting long so I do hope you enjoyed um thank you for watching really appreciate it and until next time peace out y'all